this little guy is the Lava Cricket, and yes, they do exactly what the name sounds like. These little guys are endemic to Hawaii and are just very, very interesting. As you may guess by the name, they do live on cooled lava flows, but only for a very short amount of time. After a volcano erupts, sometimes there is lava that flows out and eventually cools into volcanic rock. And as soon as the volcanic rock is cooled enough to not cook anything surrounding it, these guys start to show up. They're pretty much the first things to return to the site after a volcanic eruption. They just show up pretty much as soon as possible, before any plants, before even most microbes. Now, volcanic rock after an eruption is very, very barren. There is not a lot of stuff there. There is no food, there's barely any water, so it's very inhospitable to live on, but that is where these guys thrive. They survive only on eating sea foam, which contains a high level of the protein albumin, the same thing found in egg whites, and decaying plant matter that is deposited on the rocks by either wind or the ocean waves. That is all they eat, sea foam and decaying plants. Now the interesting thing is that they only live there for a pretty short amount of time. As soon as other life starts coming back onto the volcanic rock, as soon as more plants and animals and other insects and all that start to show up again, these guys leave. There's been a few research surveys done on this and there's never been a single specimen found within 15 or so feet of living plant matter. They just don't go around other plants at all. Like they have never been observed anywhere close to an actual living plant. So they just kind of appear out of nowhere and as soon as other stuff starts to come back, they disappear and we don't know where they go. They just up and fuck off somewhere away from plants, away from the lava flow and disappear completely until there's another volcanic eruption at which point they come out again to live on the lava flows. They also have some very weird mating practices. The kind of main well-known characteristic of crickets is the sound that they make due to stridulation to attract mates. However, these guys, they don't have wings and they also don't do stridulation. They don't make any mating sounds. And during mating, they have a very interesting form of sexual cannibalism where the female will get with the male and during the mating, they will basically act as a vampire and suck hemolin, which is kind of like insect blood, out of the male's legs during the mating. Now this is different from many types of reproduction because this is actually more costly to the male than it is the female. Usually it's the opposite, where the females are at higher risk due to having to produce and carry the eggs or the babies or anything. It requires a lot more energy. However, in this case, it's quite a lot more dangerous for the male due to the fact that they're getting their blood sucked out. Now, due to the extreme location that these crickets frequent, it's very hard to study them, so quite a lot is not known about these guys. We don't know where they live in between the like times of a volcanic eruptions. We don't know how long they live, their entire life cycle, anything like that. All we basically know is that after a volcano erupts and it's cool enough for them to come out of hiding, they come out, they colonize the whole area, then as soon as basically any other form of life starts to come back to the lava flows, they will just leave and we don't know where they go. And that's very interesting and a weird mystery that hopefully will be solved in the next couple years.